Hey there guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic. Welcome to week 10 of the Pokemon Premier League. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering what on earth has happened. We're missing old games. We're also missing week 8 and week 9. Well, there's a lot to explain. Uh, I've extended the kind of intro screen of this video a bit longer just so I can explain it to you. Um, battles one, uh, week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 10 have been battled. I believe 1, 2, 3, 4, no, 1, 2, 3, 6 and 7 have been uploaded. So I know there's videos to catch up on. Um, week 8 opponent is Sam. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with Sam. There's actually an announcement which we'll be making shortly uh, with regards to that battle. Uh, week 9 against Paul. Uh, that is due to happen soon. I have started to team build, however, I'm yet to finish. Week 10 is my game against Kelly here, as you can see right in front of you. And my phone is not on silent, I should probably do that. Um, and week 11, my opponent is Alex, which is uh, due this week, so I've still got time to do it. Um, so lots of games, bit mished and mashed at this point. But, you know, this is a PPL battle. Um, it's got a huge impact on both mine and Kelly's season. Um, and, you know... The battle isn't how we both wanted it to turn out to be, but you know, a battle's a battle, and uh, I have the upload for you now. So anyway, I'll quickly run over uh, the team. Uh, well, that firstly that Kelly's bought, I was expecting to bring Rain. His team is very spoop. Uh, he has got the Nido King, Politoed, Zorok, Mega Scizor, Kingdra, and Tornadus. Extremely scared of Tornadus, extremely scared of Kingdra. I think it's quite hard to take down Scizor, otherwise I wasn't actually too afraid of his team. I, I, well, I, that's a lie. I was really afraid of his team, mainly because I knew Mega Gallade just flat out wins against his team once Tornadus is gone. The only problem is, my way to taking that Tornadus are either, you know, like Noivan, which is fast on it, but, you know, not the strongest dragon out there, or Heliolisk, which, you know, is really good against Kelly's team, as you can see, although he has got that one ground type, so I had to be careful of how uh, I would play Heliolisk. So, quickly run over my team in front of me. I've got pretty much max speed Noivern, just to outspeed max speed uh, Tornadus. Uh, it is Choice Specs, it is uh, your standard Hurricane uh, Draco Meteor Flame for a U turn set. Hurricane, I was more comfortable to run this week than Air Slash because obviously Kelly has the rain, it makes it 100% accurate. Um, this thing outspeeds his whole team, apart from King during the rain and some choice scarfers. Uh, but in the end, uh, you know, it's my best bet to take a lot of things out. It'd be really good at hitting things hard. Um, I know it's not that common you get to hear Noivern saying it's going to hit things hard, but you know what? In this case, Kelly has quite a few frail things that will die to a lot of hurricanes, so uh, very nice. I have my fully special defensive uh, Assault vs Tangrove. Spoilers, I dropped Donphan and picked up Tangrove. Um, that's pretty much my check to Kingdra, if I can even call it a check, because Ice Beam's a thing. Um, the great set on Skarmory, which is Custap Sturdy Tailwind. That is my fail safe. If I can kill Politoed and Kingdra is sitting there in the rain, I go into that thing, I set up Tailwind, I bring in Crawdon, I bring in Gallade. I bring in Noivern and I beat that thing one-on-one. -on -one. It's simple as that. So I'm not too worried about if I get Politoed down early, I can handle the King during the rain that might threaten my team otherwise. Uh, next up is Dragon Dance Life Orb uh, Crawdon. Obviously, I, I bought it mainly to deal with Nidoking because Nidoking can just destroy me. Like, so easy. I wasn't prepared to not give it... The, well, I was prepared not to give it the chance. I pretty much bought it just for Aqua Jet. Also, kill Zorok. Also, is priority against Tornadus, which is nice with... What, and if I have rocks up, it can rack up damage quite quickly. Uh, we'll quickly breeze over the last two. I have got a uh, fully offensive, well, an offensive uh, Gallade in close combat Ice Punch. It has Swords Dance, but then it has Thunder Wave in case Tornadus decides to switch in on it uh, to take close combat. And then finally, we have Choice Scarfed Helios to outspeed any non Scarfed Mon on his team, because the only thing outspeeding it is this. However, I have a plan. I lead off with my Noivern with Frisk, just so I can find out what uh, item this thing is. It's a Wackhandberry. Still doesn't reveal whether it's bulky or offensive. However, I believe with the Wackhandberry, you know, it probably has superpower because it can live an electric move, and then um, it can obviously retaliate. I was actually running U-Turn on Helios this week, mainly because I expected him to bring Nido King. Um, so, nice prep on my behalf. However, I'm going to stay in and click Hurricane, because one, if it's offensive Tornadus, it takes a shit ton of damage. 
forces some early switches. I was also confident he wasn't going to stay in. Because one, he had switch in. Well, I say switch ins. Um, Politoed is the strongest switch in. It still took a half from Hurricane. So that's cool. Um, pretty confident he was going to go for Ice Beam. And I saw this as the best opportunity I had. Looking at his team uh, to bring in Gallade and get a free Mega Revolution up. So this thing is EV to outspeed everything on his team, obviously apart from the Tornadus, because it cannot. Um, although I believe I EV'd it just so it can outspeed max speed, not speed nature Tornadus. So that's a thing. Um, I'm going to click Thunder Wave because I knew Mega Scizor, or Scizor at this rate, I knew Scizor or uh, Tornadus was going to be a switch in. To be honest, I'm going to, I don't know if Close Combat, two Close Combats would have killed this thing flat out because he hadn't Mega Evolved yet, obviously. Uh, I know it, Mega uh, Skarmory takes about, Mega Skarmory, Mega Scizor takes about 40%. Um, I know obviously Sizzle has quite a high defense naturally, I'm not sure if it would have saved him from two close combats though. So uh, that's interesting. I do get the Thunder Wave off and I do luckily get uh, him fully paralyzed in that turn. So obviously Skarmory is quite a safe switch at this point. I'm just really worried here as the knockoff. I don't want to knock it off my Wack Um But Rox is also so important. One, it weakens uh, uh, Tornadus. It also shows me which Pokemon is the Rock, potentially. Um, so, I decided Stealth Rocks would be nice, it would be really nice chip damage uh, on a lot of his team. So, uh, I go into Noivan now thinking, you know what, it's a safer switch into this thing because I'm expecting him to want a U-turn. If he wants to knock off, he can knock off my specs, which is fine. It obviously won't do as much damage, but I can change up moves, which is fine. Uh, but in comes Kingdra, and now we have a, uh, we, we, we have a, we have a Kingdra in the rain. And, uh... So that's spooky! Um, so I'm going to go out into my dedicated switch into this thing, which is um, Assault Vest, spe Max Special Defense, um, Tangrove. And this is a, I'm assuming, modest life orb. Uh, that Dragon Pulse is absolutely nothing, so he didn't bring Draco, which is cool. Um, but he's going to have to switch out here, and I'm not sure if that means he has Ice Beam, doesn't have Ice Beam or not. Um, I don't know if he was expecting me to bring this thing. So in comes Nido King. I'm just going to click Knock Off, because if I can knock off the life orb of Kingdra, It'll make it a lot easier to deal with. Um, but I knocked this thing's life orb off as well. Uh, and I'm going to be honest with you here. I obviously know Nidoking King strong. I had it last season. I wasn't expecting... I mean, I didn't do the calc, to be honest. Because I was expecting me to be able to live it. Um, probably silly and sign height. But, you know, it gives me a free switch in into uh, Crawdon. And you're going to see a lot of Crawdon in this game. Um, I, put, I call his uh, switch out here. He obviously wants to keep Nidoking King because it can destroy my team. Because um, my team has got, it's not got a great mid-ground in speed tier. Uh, it's got lots of slow and fast, so, you know, it can still do damage. I'm going to click Dragon Dance. Um, Dragon Dance allows me to pretty much outspeed this whole team again, after, other than Tornadus. Aqua Jet can one-shot um, Zorok, even though Zorok will still outspeed me, so I can out prioritize me. Obviously, it won't do much because I'm Duck-type. However! I do get a Crab Hammer crit. Now, I'm pretty sure I, before this game I'd actually missed more Crab Hammers than I hit. So that crit was due, but the crit was huge because it forces Kelly to bring in his Politoed early on in the game. I say early, mid-game. And obviously Politoed slash Kingdra is something you want to save till as late as possible. You want to weaken down your opponent's team first. So I am at plus one. I am adaptability. He is, pr I'm pretty sure, especially defensive. I'm going to click knock off and get the kill. That's two kills gone. Now, his, this is his last chance for rain. Once rain goes, it's gone. And now I know I need to keep Crawdon because it can still... I mean, I bought this thing for Zorok and Nidoking. It's taking things down that are neither of those. That's a bonus. I still need it for Nidoking. I still need it for Zorok. I'm going to switch to Skarmory because I was adamant he was going to go for uh, a water-type move here. He actually goes for Dragon Pulse, which kind of scared me a bit because... I'm cast out Berry. I needed my Sturdy intact because I was always thinking... I mean, I'm max special defense. But I'm thinking, oh god, a Surf will kill me at this point. So I'm going to go into Mega Gallade. Looking at his team, Mega Gallade doesn't do much for me anymore. If this thing... I mean, I was just kind of hoping it could live one. Just so it could die on the next turn to waste a bit more rain. Uh, but it can't. Uh, so it dies. So, uh, at this point, there is only one way I can win this. Uh, and that is by going into Skarmory. Hoping to dear god that I live a Surf in the rain from a Life Orb Kingdra. And we do. Obviously, my Custat Berry doesn't pop yet. I am going to click Tailwind. The Tailwind lasts four turns, which, you know, is all I need at this point in the game. Um, I do have the Custat Berry, and this is actually really helpful in the fact that I click Drill Peck here. And Drill Peck is actually going to be enough where uh, Kingdra is going to die to Life Orb. So, while we don't get a kill on Kingdra, Kingdra does go down. 
while the rain is still up, now we know Kelly has Zorok, Tornadus, and Nido King left. One Pokemon weak to water. Um, one completely frail and will die to an Aqua Jet in the rain, and the other being Tornadus. Now, we are behind a Tailwind. This is a Life Orb Adaptability Crawdaunt, which outspeeds Kelly's whole team. This is where Stealth Rocks is really useful. Uh, he brings in Tornadus. I see it doesn't take super effective damage. That means this is a rock. I'm clicking Aqua Jet all day, every day. At this point, I thought Kelly might try and play games, you know, switch in and out, but he really didn't have a switch in to uh, Aqua Jet at this point, so he couldn't really do that. Um, so, Zorok goes down, at this point he has Needle King, which dies to Aqua Jet in the rain or not, and uh, he has Tornadus. Here I could have clicked Crab Hammer, I'm pretty confident it would have uh, killed, but I'm going to click the Knock Off, because at this point I know all I need to do is go into Heliolisk and click Hyper Voice, and also I have Noi Firm, excuse me, which outspeeds. So, I was pretty confident I could go for Knock Off if it didn't kill, I'm comfortable bringing in Heliolisk and just clicking Hyper Voice, because I would win. Um, but I do actually kill the Tornadus, and in the end, uh, Nido King's gonna come in. Tailwind is still up, doesn't, uh, sorry, I think it's said I might have actually peered out there. It doesn't matter, I'm in the rain, I'm a, I'm a crawled on with a life orb adaptability. Aqua is gonna kill that Nido King big time. And that is actually the game. It was a very, very fast paced game. It wasn't an outcome I was expecting. I expected, uh, I, I don't know if Kelly was prepped for crawled on. Um, he said he lost to two people, uh, test building. I don't know if that's what ruined him. He was extremely scared of Gallade. I knew Gallade would be uh, really good against his team if Tornadus was gone. I didn't kill Tornadus quick enough to make Gallade the threat, and I just don't know if he wasn't ready for Crawdon to do what it did. But Crawdon worked out extremely well this game. You know, Crawdon did what Crawdon can do. It doesn't do it very often, but it happened. So, uh, good game, Kelly. I'm extremely sorry about the crit and the two powers, because, you know, that really did put you on the back foot. In case you didn't know, Kelly is, you know, probably the favourite at the moment to win the title, and this does actually open up the title race for a few more people, um, which is good for obviously for the league, not so much for Kelly. And the win for me now puts me on four wins, four losses. I'll put like a little uh, asterisk in my score thing in the title, mainly because you know it's correct, but I am still out kind of outstanding. I have outstanding games. That's what I'm trying to say. So. Um, that's the reason why the score is wrong. Kelly's will obviously add up to a different amount of games played than my games played will. Um, but yeah, you guys now know that I played Kelly and beat him. I've still got to play, um, we'll say Sam's replacement. Uh, I guess it's the first you'll hear of it, but unfortunately Sam's had to step down from the PPL, uh, due to real life. And, uh, we've I've got Lars playing his games. It's four games I think he needs to catch up on, including facing me, so I'll be playing Lars. I'm playing Paul, and I'm playing Alex. I'm currently sitting at 4-4. Four and four. I hope that is now enough to avoid any kind of relegation scrap. If I beat Paul, I'll be well clear. I'll be happy with that. If I beat Lars, that's a bonus. If I beat... I mean, Alex is well within the scrap as well as Paulie. So if I beat either of them, I will be more than happy. Um, that's pretty much it, though. Uh, make sure you go check out Kelly's links and whatnot. He is uh, a million times better YouTube than, than I am. He has constant uploads. You know, he's got a lot of support recently on his channel. He's, he's blown up, and uh, rightly so. I really enjoy his videos. He's in lots of leagues. If you want to learn a lot from him, go to his channel, because he is a really good person to learn from. I'd say I've learned quite a lot from him. Uh, I've managed to beat him two seasons in a row. I would say, you know, Lux played a big part, and it, it doesn't reflect his skill at all. Uh, or mine, sadly, because, you know, I feel like I've developed a lot playing in the PPL. But, you know, I'm rambling now. I really am. So... Anyway, guys, I, like I said, go check out um, Kelly's channel. Uh, go check out his side of the video. I imagine he'll probably have a team builder on his uh, side too. He normally does one. Um, other than that, make sure you check out all the other coaches' information in the uh, description below. And I'll see you later. Goodbye.